This is Dr. Susan Thrall. We're going to work with calculated controls on a form. In part one, we put a calculated control on the main form. In part two, we're going to do a calculated control and a subform, but place its display right here on the main form. So before you, you see a form that has contracts and invoices, and you see a subform for each of the particular records. So for our contract number 3011, we have two invoice numbers, and it totals $4,000. All right, now following the steps that we've done previously, first we're going to go into Design View. and we're going to open this form in a separate window. So we click on the border and choose subform in a new window. Remember last time we did the calculated control on the main form itself. This time we're doing the calculated control on the subform. As you can see, there are two calculated controls already here in the footer, and that would be the step that we would perform uh, is to drag open the footer and make room for our calculated controls. There's enough room here, so all I'm going to do is go up to and click on the text box feature, drag a text box to create my new form. Next, set the name property of this text box to a good access name. The name box is on the other tab. It's right now called Text18, and I'm going to call it Text TXT Invoice Amount Average AVG. So it's going to calculate the average of the invoice amounts. Write down or remember this name because you will need it later. In the unbound area of the box, we go to the control source property and set in the calculation. So we're going to say equals AVG average, and we're going to average the invoice amount. Make sure that you spell invoice amount, your field name, correctly. So that if we were to actually view the subform, in form view, you can see that we have the invoice amount average down here of $10,000. However, we want to place the display of this not on the subform, but on the main form. So once we have this working, how do we get this display onto the main form? So going back to the main form, we're going to draw a text box on the main form where we want to display this. So once again, going to the Design tab, I choose Text Box, drag a control. I'm going to move it over so it's not on top of my other boxes. And Give it a good name because right now it's called Text22. This is going to be a good caption name. This is what humans see and they certainly will not understand what Text22 means. So I click on Text22. I can go to the caption property. There it is, Text22. Delete that out and put in a good name. So I can say invoice amount average because that's what this box is going to show, the invoice amount average. I'm going to stretch it out so I can see all the words of my title. So here I have my good title. Now what do I put into the unbound box? This is the important part and this is somewhat tricky. We're going to go to the control source, and you can certainly use the build box to help you with this, but I'm going to type it in exactly as you need to type it in. Start with an equals. 
then you put the location of where you actually did the calculated control. Now we did the calculated control on the subform and the name of that subform is form invoice subform. So I'm going to in square brackets type in form invoice subform making sure I spell it correctly. After that we put a period then we put in the place where we want this to appear. We have calculated the average in a subform, but we want it to appear on the main form. So we type form and an exclamation point. After the exclamation point in square brackets, we put the name of the control. Now this is where I said remember the name that you gave it and we called it txt invoice amount AVG. That's all there is to it, those three parts. When I view the form, I have number of invoices 2, total is 4,000. What's the average? Well, 4,000 divided by 2 gives me an average of 2,000. Now certainly this is not as nice looking, it's not formatted like the two controls over here, but we did get it working. Now let's go back to our form in design view and analyze again what we put in. So we said equals the name of the place or the form where we did the calculated control, remember we did it on the sum form, a dot where we want to place the display of that which is on form, the form that goes with this subform, an exclamation point and then the name of what we call that calculated control which was text invoice amount average. You can see these other two items over here. These are also calculated controls that were done on the subform and notice here they're saying it was done on the subform we want its display on the main form. It was called text invoice num count. Or for this one here, it was calculated on the subform. We want it placed on the main form, and its name on the subform was text invoice amount sum. So there are two major steps. You do the calculated control, and then if you want to place it in another area, you reference the calculated control when you want to place it on another form.